Hi, everybody. Okay, uh, just quick here before I start, uh, thank you for sharing this journey with me, and uh, I want you to know that this is a journey about connections of love, and uh, with this journey we learn that love is endless and bountiless. So, real quick here, I hear things very fast, and I speak a little faster. Uh, I tend to get names. If I get names, please don't just listen to names that have passed over, because they often identify by living names as well. Uh, and if you think it's for you, please raise your hand, because I'll know if it is for you or not. Uh, there's a name like Jean, Janet, Jenny, something to that effect. Jeffrey? Who's that, please? Oh, my boyfriend that died. Okay. Uh, well, then he's coming through. Now, did his mom pass? No, not yet. Okay. She, is she not doing well? I don't know. Okay. You're not in contact with them? No. Okay. His grandmother must be gone because he comes in with a woman yes, of that that's level. Yes, his grandmother. Okay. Now, you must have known him a while. I did. Okay. Um, he was married. Um, he was drinking, and he I don't he care died what he quickly. did and what happened, but it's his way of coming through connected to you. Now, he comes with another male present, so he either lost a very good friend or a brother. A really good friend yes. of his. And the friend went before him. Yes. Yes. And they were buddies. Very, very close. Very good. They hung out the pub together, I must tell you, okay? Now, who shot pool? <laughs> I shot pool with Jeffrey. Yeah, see, that's his way of letting me know he's coming through. Now, he says very clearly he's come to you, and he says very clearly, he says he's worked out this process with you, so you need to know this. He's fine. He wants you to be fine with this, okay? He's an edge person. Do you know what I mean by an edge person? They live on it, you know? Yeah. And that was his full his life. Yeah. Now... Did he wear funny hats? What's, what's the thing with his hair? What's the thing with his... Oh, he always wanted his hair cut short. Okay, because nice I, I feel like I almost want to see, like I saw these kind of, so that's what it is. He always took really good care of himself. Okay, because he's really, really, really into that from what he's telling me. Now, um, I want to know... Uh, there's something he must have been connected to. Again, unless I'm pulled over here. Did he belong to, like, some kind of a, a club or an organization or something? He worked for a fantastic company. Okay. Um, he had two kids that he loved dearly. Because just... he shows me what I call, like, writing on his, like, his jacket or something, like, was something that he belonged to that he was very proud of. Yeah, he had his, he had his work jacket. Okay, because he's showing it to me. Now, are you connected to the boys? I've met with them. Okay, because you need to tell them about their father coming through because this has been very hard for them. Yes. Now, and one of, the, one of them, first and middle's names passed down from him. There's John and Matt. Yeah, yeah. It's from his dad. It's from his dad, right. And his dad's with him, though. Yes. Yes, so they're coming together. Because they're telling me three times, his name's main passed down three times. Yeah. Yes. Now, are you no longer living where you're living with him? I'm, um... He died at his apartment. I lived at my place, but he gave me the leopard. That's fine. He said He's, you knew about that one. Yeah. Okay? Now, I feel like I'm going to be you, but I'm going to be pulled over here. There's somebody who liked to fish, because somebody comes with a fishing pole, and I'm in the middle here. Definitely comes with a pole, some kind of a fishing pole. My dad fished. Mm. He did? Yeah. That's what this thing is. It's called a pole. He shows me the little lures. He shows me all the little things that he was very into. Do you understand? Yes. And he must have made them, collected them, whatever it is, but they're a big deal to him. Now, who has those? I don't know. He said they would either pass down to him or they were passed down. Maybe to his brother, Jimmy. Is his brother still here? Yeah. Okay. Will you ask him? Now, this is your husband? Mm -hmm. Okay, because he stands between the two of you, so he's saying hello to you. You were married forever. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he says it very lovely, you understand. Yeah, yes. I do. Yes. Yeah. Now, and did you know his mom? Mm -hmm. No. Okay, because she's been gone a long time. Yeah. And I don't know if he was young, but that was a hard passing for him. Yes. And yeah. I want you to know they're rejoined. That's great. So that's really nice to hear. That and is. when I'm in that side again, I'm still hearing these J and these G sounds. I don't know if I'm hearing Georgie, Jenna, something, but I'm hearing the J names. Jimmy, Jimmy. Who's that, please? It's his brother with the fishing poles. Probably. Brother with the fishing pole. They're yeah. coming together. Thank you. Oh, we yeah. woke them up. I like that. That <laughs> works very well. All right. Now, there was another brother, by the way, they tell me. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few. Because there's quite a few. And it looks like most of them are over there from what I'm gathering. Yeah. Because it looks like a lot of the family was over there. There was also one lost very young. Yes. And that was a big upset in the family. Yeah. And he was close to your husband's age. 
Um, I was thinking of a different one. Um. But there had to be like seven or eight of them in the family. I mean, there was a few. Very, very fertile side. Yes. Very, very clear. Ten. Oh, what, what, we're on that. Yeah. But I'm hearing seven, so it could have been seven and three. No, three girls died. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank yeah. you. That's how they're coming together. They're literally making you fish for it. They are <laughs> literally making me work for it. Right, right. Oh, now, I want to say that I'm here, but I want to really say that I'm over here, um, and which means I'm double-crossed, which means there could be two of the same, so I have to double-check. Who <clears throat> knew somebody who passed in a car accident? Who's that, please? Okay, well, he's coming through very strong. Does he know you? No. Well, he likes you, so you hold his hand. Okay. Now, um, handsome man. Yeah, he oh was. Oh, my God. No, he still is, honey. <laughs> I can assure you right now. Uh, now, has he not been gone real long? Since uh, November. That's not long. No. Because yes, he's telling me he just arrived, unless he's a smart ass, which I think he is. He is. Yes. <laughs> um, but he's saying, I haven't been here very long. Now, this is a man that packed in a full life in his short years. Oh, yes. Major packed in. Yeah. Almost like he knew he was going to live a short life, so yeah. he packed it in. Now, who's the person with the B name connected him male? I'm almost going to say I'm hearing like Bruce or Bryant. It looks like a BR sounding name. You'll think about it because yeah. you're a little bit in shock. Now, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to tell you this. He said you and him were like this. Yeah. Extremely close. Hmm. And he says you shared a lot. Yeah, now, my oldest he, friend. He says you have not gotten over this because I almost want to say you grew up together. Pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. Now, I don't know what he's showing me, but he's showing me like a building. It's not a house. It's like a building. It's like we did something in this building. I don't know if it was like an apartment. W was it large? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's the apartment we shared together. I mean, this had to yeah. be really, really huge. Almost like I would say like a loft space or something like that. Oh, yeah. But yeah. that's what he's showing me. Now, I, do you, did you know any of his family? Not really well, okay. no. I don't know why, because this, this is definitely not him. Okay. Do you know who hunted? Oh, my Uncle Bill. Okay, is he dead? Yeah. Did he hunt deer in particular? Yeah. He, he showed me antlers. Yeah, uh, antlers on, yeah. Yeah, he had antlers all over the place. Yes, it was horrifying. Yeah. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I didn't have to. <laughs> yes. Well, he's coming with your friend. They're not connected, but yeah. that, they're both coming together. Now, is he on your mama's side? Yes, yeah, yes. my mom's brother. But mama's still here? Yeah. Yes, very connected. Oh, yeah. Ross and her brother was very, very hard on her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Now, I don't know why I want to say this. Is she one of the few left or something? She's the only one left. Oh, so she's not kidding because they're saying, like, we're all over here. Yeah. We're there's all over here. There's my mom and me, and there's no one else. Yeah, okay. So quite literally, <laughs> no, that would be very, very hard. So it's important to pass this on. All right? Okay. Now, um, her mom's also been gone a long time. Yeah. Now, is she the M name, the Marie, Mary, Margaret I'm hearing? Or am I with you guys? No. Marie's your grandmother. See? We got you in. We're not done, though. Um, I feel like I have to ask one other quick thing here. <laughs> Poor David. Um, she also had a sister that passed. She, she was adopted. She had just found her family, but she never wow. didn't know too much about them. Okay. But, yeah. Because this woman comes to as a sister very connected to her. It would have been Jacqueline, the okay. one that she knew as a kid. Yeah. And, that's, and that she wants you to know that really, really clear. And I think this is grandma coming back, but before I do that, was your grandmother really religious? At the end of her years. Okay. Because she comes waving a cross. So oh, I take okay. it to be, that, that's my, my sign of being... Really, really religious. Do you understand? Now, uh, but he's going to stand there. Don't worry, honey. All right? Uh, now, I want to ask you, was she the one that was the gardener? Um, was she a gardener? She was into many things. Her last husband died in the garden. Okay. He died in the garden? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Because she's George. telling me you would know about the garden. I would know about the garden? So that's where he passed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, had he been gone a while? Well, she met him in, in her 80s. They got married in their 80s. That's and, pretty cool. And he was Mormon, oh. so she became Mormon, but then he died in the garden. Well, that would make sense what the religion's the religion. about, isn't it? Yeah. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Handsome fellow, by the way. Yeah, he was. He was Raymond Burr's dad. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Okay. Yeah. And, and by the way, smart. And it's mm -hmm. interesting because I saw writing with him, so I wasn't sure if he was into writing or it was connected to, to that side from what I'm gathering. Wow. It's really, really mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, um, so this is your mom's mom. Yes. But mama's still here. Yes, she is. 
Grandma says you're not an only child, though. No, I've got a sister. Okay, so you're the one of two. Yes. Are you aware your mom of the lost a child? No. They're no. saying at birth miscarriage, child lost. That would be more me. That was you. Yeah. Then that child is with grandma. Oh, okay. It's had to be young. Yeah, very. Yes. Suzanne, is there? I know you talk a lot about this in your books and your seminars. Is there? Is there anything that you you want to tell us now, or or, or need to tell us at this point? Well, again, I, I said it's really all about learning to listen and, and, and keeping our minds and hearts open because they do connect you. As a matter of fact, it's part of their job. And because of this, you no longer need to feel helpless when somebody you love dies. And you can resolve those issues <laughs> around his or her departure and accept the gifts of the knowledge that they can bring you in healing with your own soul's path. And that's really kind of what, what happened here. Uh, so always keep in mind that the word courage lies in the base of the heart and that know that nothing can ever separate you from love, not even death.